With the 2022 road race season well underway, a lot of which is available on GCN Plus live and on demand, I thought now was the perfect time to have a run through of all the men's and women's World Tour bikes. And to keep all things fair and equal, I'm going to do this alphabetically. First up, Eju 2R Citroën, and there's no real change here. The French team will ride Swiss brand BMC bikes, the Team Machine SLR or the Time Machine Road. Equipped with Campagnolo Super Record EPS 12-speed group set and Campagnolo wheels with Pirelli tyres. Astana follow on from AG2R with no real change of partner brands from 2021, although they do have a name change following the departure of Premier Tech. They'll be riding the Villa Zero SLR, the Filante or the Turbine Time Trial bikes equipped with the latest Dura-Ace 12-speed group set. Wheels are provided by Coroma, and they look set to continue using Ceramic Speed's oversized pulley wheels. They'll also be using Prologo saddles and Villiers own finishing kit to keep the riders comfy. Team Bahrain Victorious will be racing aboard the Merida Sculptura, Reacto and Warp time trial bikes equipped with Shimano's Dura-Ace group sets. Bikes will also be equipped with Vision wheels and Continental tyres, Power meters are provided by Shimano and they'll be running Garmin head units to display all that data. Next is Team Bora Hansgrohe. They continue their long-term association with specialised bikes and in 2022 they'll be aboard the SL7 and Shiv time trial bikes, both the S-Works versions of course. And working with a brand as huge as Specialized means they'll also be providing wheels in the form of Reval and also Specialized tyres, saddles and finishing kit no doubt too. We believe they're to be using the latest 12-speed dura including power meters and linked up to Wahoo head units. Canyon SRAM next, our first women's team on the list. They'll be aboard Canyon Bikes, no surprise there, racing on the Aeroad CFR with that incredible paint scheme and running SRAM red access group sets and quark power meters. Bikes will also be kitted out with a selection of zip wheels and Schwalbe tires, Ergon saddles and Garmin head units. Team Cofidis are sticking to what they know and for the third year running using DeRosa bikes, the Merak, Pininfarina and TT03. They have however gained Coroma as their wheel supplier which are going to be paired up to Michelin tyres. Campagnolo's top tier super record 12 speed EPS group sets, Cell Italia saddles and Wahoo computers will finish the bikes off and then monitoring the riders power will be SRM cranks. Team EF Education Easy Post will be racing aboard the Cannondale Super 6 Evo or the System 6. Group sets will be Shimano Dura Ace, but upgraded to the latest 12 speed versions. They'll also be running Vittoria tyres and Vision wheels, possibly with a run flat airliner inside. Power to Max are going to provide the power meters and its Garmin head units to help them navigate their way to the finish line. Women's team Tibco SVB have joined forces with EF Education and as such, the men's and the women's team are going to be using the same brands and equipment. So they'll be aboard Cannondale bikes running Shimano group sets, Vision wheels, Vittoria tires and Prologo saddles. Women's team FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine Futuroscope will be racing for victory aboard a combination of the Lapier Airco DRS, Zelius SL and Aerostorm DRS bikes. They'll be kitted out with 12-speed Shimano Durace, including the wheels and the pedals, Continental tyres, Prologo bar tape and saddles, and finished off with Elite bottle cages. Team Groupama FDJ have kept things simple too. We've got zero change here other than switching to 12-speed Shimano Durace, and they'll be using the same setup as the women's team, keeping things nice and simple for all of us. Human Powered Health are a new team to the Women's World Tour for this year, having taken over from the previous rally cycling team. They'll continue to use felt bikes, the AR and FR, built up with SRAM rival access group sets, vision wheels and Goodyear tyres. It's a slightly different mix of components to finish the bikes off. We have Wahoo head units, time pedals, Prologo saddles and Arundel bottle cages. Team Ineos Grenadiers were one of the last men's World Tour teams to switch to disc brakes, having done so at the back end of last season in line with the launch of the Pinarello Dogma F. They're confirmed to be running the latest Dura Ace group set and wheels, and these are going to be paired up to Continental tyres, and the team continue their association with Physique for saddles and bar tape. Team Intermarche, Wante Group Gobert are using the Lightning or Agree bikes from German brand Cube alongside their in-house brand Newman Wheels. 
They'll be using the latest Shimano Durace group sets as they did in 2021, although it's not 100% confirmed that there will be the 11 speed or the 12 speed versions. Interesting though, they are using the slightly lesser known brand of Brighton head units and are another team using Prologo saddles. Team Israel Premier Tech next, and although a slight change of name, the team that is home to Chris Froome are following the same bike setup as last season, although they do have the addition as Rota as their power meter and chain set supplier. Maybe we'll see Froomey back on oval chain rings this year. The Factor Ostro or Van bikes will be fitted with Shimano Dura-Ace, black ink wheels, Maxxis tires and Cell Italia saddles, plus Hammerhead GPS head units. Live Racing next, and as you'd expect, the Live Racing Extra team will be aboard the women's specific Live bikes, choosing between the Langma, the Enver Live, or the Brava. They'll be using Kadex wheels, a selection of all of the depths, including a disc and a four spoke for the time trial bikes. Group sets will be SRAM Red Access and Quark Power Meters matched to Shimano pedals. Lotto Sedal have only made one real change this year with their equipment, and that's the switch from Campagnolo to Shimano, although they will be specifically using KMC chains. DT Swiss wheels and Vittoria tyres will be fitted to the Ridley Helium, Noah Fast and Dean Fast bikes. They will also be using Cell Italia saddles, Look Kio Blade carbon tie pedals and Garmin head units. Movistar next, and to keep things fair and simple, they have kitted out the women's and men's team exactly the same. So that means the latest Canyon Aeros fitted with SRAM Red Access, Zip Wheels and Quark Power Meters. In addition to that, they're going to use Physique Saddles, Continental Tires and Garmin Head Units. The Quick Step Alpha Vinyl team may have had a slight name change, but in terms of their equipment, it's still the Specialized and Shimano show. Riding the SL7 Tarmac S-Works fitted with Shimano Dura-Ace 12 speed, Reval wheels, specialised tyres and specialised saddles. They've also opted to use the ceramic speed bottom bracket and Wahoo head units. This is one mean looking setup. Team Bike Exchange Jayco next and similar to Movistar, they're kitting out the men's and the women's teams just the same. Although the men will use the giant TCR or Propel frames and the women the Live Langma. Both will use Shimano's latest Dura-Ace group set and Kadex wheels and tyres, and they're going to have the full selection of wheel depths to choose from. Saddles and bottle cages will also be the giant Kadex brand to complete the setup. Another team with little change is Team DSM. Their men's and women's teams are going to be racing on the Scott Addict, the Foil and Plasma time trial bikes. Not a huge surprise to see them using the 12-speed Shimano dura seeing as they were the first team spotted with it last year. They'll also use a mix of Shimano wheels, a combination of the C36, the 50 and the C60. These are going to be fitted with Vittoria tyres, the saddles are from Pro and the head units from Wahoo. Team Jumbo Visma are once again using an equal setup for their men's and women's teams in 2022. Both squads will have the Cervelo S5 or R5 at their disposal with Shimano's Dura-Ace wheels and group sets and they're yet another team to be running Vittoria tyres. Finishing off their bikes are Physique Saddles and Garmin head units. Women's team Roland Cogas et Luis next, and they'll be aboard French brand Look Bikes, and they'll have the choice between the 795 Blade RS, the 785 Huez RS, and the 796 Monoblade RS. Bikes are gonna be built up with Campagnolo Super Record EPS, Corama wheels, Celis San Marco saddles, and Look Kio Blade carbon tie pedals. Women's team SD Works will once again be aboard the Tarmac SL7, the S-Works version of course, and finish in that incredible paint scheme. SRAM will provide the red access group sets, along with zip wheels and quark power meters. Specialized will also supply the tires and the saddles. The Trek Segafredo male and female riders will have their choice of the Madone, the Amonda, the Demane, or the Speed Concept, along with Trek's in-house brand, Bontrager wheels. Pirelli will provide the tyres once again this year and the group sets will be SRAM Red Access with Quark Power Meters and up front will be Wahoo Head Units. New to the women's tour for 2022 is UAE Team ADQ taking over from LA BTC. They have one very fancy looking setup in the form of Colnago V3 RS bikes, Super Record EPS and Campag Bora Ultra WTO wheels. Paired up with Pirelli tyres, they're also going to be running Prologo saddles and bar tape and finishing the bikes off are elite bottle cages.
The men's version of the team is UAE Team Emirates and they have a near identical setup to the women's. The only real difference being the use of SRM power meters and head units. I guess when you have a race winning formula, there's no real need for change. And then finally, rounding off the teams for the 2022 World Tour, we have women's team Uno X. They're going to be riding Dare Bikes, a choice of the MA AFO, the VSRU and the TSRF. Each will be kitted out with Shimano's Dura Ace, DT Swiss wheels, Schrolby tyres and Ceramic Speed's oversized pulley wheels. So there you have it, the complete list of men's and women's World Tour bikes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And why don't you let me know in the comments section down below which bike and which team is your favourite. And remember, to catch as much racing as possible, head over to GCN Plus and get that subscription sorted. See ya!